Wonder what shenanigans our humans will try this season. No telling what they'll do. They already bubble wrapped a jackass and signed Howard up on crazygirls.com. You know, you have trouble with some your picker lately. My picker? For women. You know, it's not done so well. It's broken in the past. My picker's broken. <laughs> hey, H.C., hey, hey, give him a dose of that castor oil that's in the barn. It's a, it's a big wooden spoon in there. Give him a dose of that castor oil. But be gentle. <laughs> Don't hurt him. Don't hurt the donkey. I'm sure he's not going to like that. Man, they've asked me to do a lot of stupid things, but this is the worst thing I've ever done. I don't know if this will work, but he won't blow out. I realize I live a lot. Yeah, but nothing was as bad as that tiger they brought home. Do you believe that? A tiger in the laundry room. That thing smelled like a polecat. What in the world is that? Hey, honey. Yeah. I assume you know there's a tiger in the laundry room. What's the deal? What'd you get? What'd you get a tiger? No. <laughs> That's my stray cat that I found that I'm gonna rescue. I know, right? Well, here's to a new season. Hope they don't embarrass us too much. Mm-mm. Can you pass the treats? Maybe we'll get double the treats this season. Cheers! Cheers. Just let you Hello, I'm David. I'm Howard. We're the Bellamy Brothers. <laughs> We've been running this family ranch for more than 150 years. It ain't nothing but something to do. As far as everybody knows, we're just a nice, normal family. We're just like everybody else. We just play music for a living. This is our life at home and on the road. Just let your love flow. And you're watching the Honky Tonk Ranch. You know, when we mentioned fixing up the bus, I, I thought you were going to mainly do some seat covers and maybe fix the bumper or something like that. Well, I, I did all that. We did the floors, got new upholstery done in here, uh, got the bumpers painted on it, and uh, had, had some little accent ambience lighting. I should say, I didn't know you were going to turn into a disco. Well, you know, it's like a French brothel in here. Not that I would know, but sure. <laughs> well, all we need is a pole. You'll like me a lot more then. <laughs> How many colors? Uh, it'll do like 10, 12 colors. And then on the front of the bus, I got it where it's doing multiple colors too. It says Bellamy Brothers on the front of it. Advertisement's advertisement. Oh boy, does it jump up and down at red lights? Well, it might. Stay tuned. Oh man. Well, you know, we got it shoot a TV show in here, so I I don't know, I hope Did they... you get a deal on this? Uh, oh yeah, if I didn't get a deal, we didn't get it. <laughs> I want to ask you what kind of deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to live with it. It's a little bit... Yeah. Um, Can't afford to take it out. No, now. Uh -uh. probably more expensive to remove it than put it in. But the good part of it is we can Whatever colors y'all in the mood for that day, we can make them stay just that one color, do a little fade, so yeah. it's... We'll it's, do a little meditating and see which color represents what mood or something like that. Well, I'm, we're not gonna have, have any reds. <laughs> <laughs> stay with blues and greens. Okay. Neighbor down the road's got a cow for sale. Twenty dollars more, you get the horns and tail. Saturday night, we're gonna go get drunk. Something in the road smells like a skunk. Steel guitars, rowdy bars, redneck girls, and beat up cars. We got fat back, that's a fact. If you don't know, that's a country rap. idea of having the, the TV show on the tour bus itself. You think it'll you think it'll work? So we spend millions of miles on this bus and now we want to do a TV show on it. Spend what? more time on the bus. Well mm. 
I think people might like it. You know, everybody likes to come on the tour bus, and you know, if, if like if Dolly Parton come on, we could drive up right to her house and like just let her come on and sing Jolene or something. She'd probably run the other way. <laughs> so let's pull up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's the best idea. I know your name's on the bus, not mine, but we spent a lot of time on I'm this bus. I'm with Howard. <laughs> well, you never know. First time the guys are with me. <laughs> well, you never know, though, who might be behind that curtain there. That some star could just walk in at any time, you know. See? You just never know. Come on in. Hey Chris. Hey Howard. What's up? You got a minute? Yep, that's all I got. It's a minute. <laughs> all right. Hey, I just got a phone call. Uh, a little bit interesting. I got got a place that wants to give y'all an award. Um, it's coming up pretty soon. The uh, you know just a community award for what y'all have accomplished in the area and with your music and everything. Um, it's a, re a nearby resort here in Land of Lakes, but it's a uh, it's a clothing optional resort. Sounds like a nudist calling to me. <laughs> yeah, Clo clothing optional. Yeah, that, clothing optional. Uh, that's or nat Naturist resort, I think they call it. Oh, these days. I see. Uh, it sounds yeah. interesting, but um, I don't think we'd have time right away. You know, we're just getting this TV show, this bus TV show rolling. So we're going to be up here uh, fixing to do a segment with Eddie Raven. So uh, right. is, Susan, is Susan there? Maybe she could go get it. Yeah, Susan and Mel are still here. Oh, Mel, are you there too? Yep. Oh, good, good. Let's set them up. Let's, All right, let's, can we yeah, yeah, down well, right now? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I wonder how we always get awards we don't need or don't deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all deserve all. And ones we do deserve, we don't get. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, let's uh, let's set them up. Let them go over there and pick it up for us. But, yeah. All right. You but, can tell them where it is. No, don't tell them it's a nudist colony. All right. Yeah. Naturist resort. Naturist resort. Yeah, they'll think they're getting some wild animal park or something. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah, don't tell them. Yeah, let's just let them go over there and uh, and set it up, and uh, don't tell them that there's gonna be naked people around. Get them back for that crazygirl.com. There you go. There's my chance right here. <laughs> All right, sounds yeah. good. I'll uh, I'll get a hold of them and send them over there. All right. All right. Thanks, Chris. All right, y'all take care. Hope right. that show goes good. All Thanks, right, man. thank you. Bye bye. Bye now. You never know. First time the guys are with me. <laughs> well, you never know though who might be behind that curtain there. That some star could just walk in at any time. You know. See, you just never know. Come on in. Hey. This uh, bus take me back to Tulsa. I'm Eddie Raven. How you doing, Eddie? <laughs> well, I've about changed my mind, I guess. I'm surprised. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, you man. can't hurt to be surprised. Didn't know what another old derelict was doing. <laughs> Crawl up in here. Well, I've worked at it. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you, man. You too. You guys look flirty. Yeah, we're we're doing pretty good. Right. Remember that? Remember that video we did down in the swamp? Down yeah, there? I do. Yeah. I sure do. With Joel. With Joel, yeah. The other, the yeah, we're on that on that airboat. The airboats yeah. and. Yeah. Airboats and cotton mouse and alligators. Yeah. Maybe really, you feel you know, right at home you, from Louisiana. Yeah, so Joel's first trip on an airboat, did you really tell me? There's a lot of things that's <laughs> Joel's first trip. <laughs> I'm 
known Joe El since yeah, we yeah. were kids, you know, and he used to be the Cajun Valentino. Did you ever hear when he was that? No. He recorded for a label out of Lake Charles, I believe it was, and uh, he had a chic outfit and the whole deal, man, and and he had a picture he put out promotions of it, man. It, he looked like a sheik. Oh, know? wow. And I've never known a sheik to play accordion, but he no. did a good job. Well, if he ever comes on the show, I'm asking him to bring yeah. that sheik out. Thank you for that information. Yeah. Use that. Well, you know, I need to take care of you. Hey. Uh, but he's well, so talented and great. Oh, player. what a real guy. I love him. This I is know. so pretty. I wish it's that David beautiful. and Howard could have been here. This is I'm great. Thanks for coming with us, AC. Oh, yeah. This you know I wouldn't miss this for the world. Welcome to Caliente. Thank, Thank you. you. This is so nice. I feel so special. <laughs> <laughs> This is so pretty. And it's beautiful in here. Oh, God. Dang, what are you? I, I'm thinking we're a little overdressed a little bit. <laughs> what have we got into? Oh, I thought we were supposed to dress up for this. I'm a little nervous though. I'm, you know, I like to be behind the scenes, not making a speech. Hey, guys. Uh, hi. Hi. Hey guys. Okay. Uh, don't worry about making a speech. I'll make it for you. Well, this is a nice view. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and so is that. <laughs> Boy, lunch couldn't have come at a better time. Y'all mind if I sit here? Go ahead. All right. Let me get some sun. Sure. Can I offer you a drink? Absolutely. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Better now. Better now. Me too. Been a long, hot day. I thought this was going to be so special. I, now I'm wondering, you know, I should have known when they said go accept an award on a, their behalf. Right. They never do that. We're all dressed up and I'm feeling a little overdressed Ladies, here. So on the behalf of Caliente Resorts, we'd like to present this to the Bellamy Brothers for uh, all the great service you guys have done in the community and the, the country music. And uh, we are a clothing optional community. Caliente so. style. <laughs> well, Okay, I think uh, we really so appreciate this. I'm so honored to be accepting this award on behalf of Caliente and the Bellamy Brothers. Thank you so much for your music, but I'm gonna leave my clothes on. Absolutely. Um, what are you doing? Oh my hey, God! Hey, sir, optional. Y'all, y'all not getting ready for it? Oh my gosh! Oh hey, my gosh. hey, hey, put yeah. your Go clothes on. back on. They're gonna think and you're Howard, except the man. You got your little <laughs> Christmas jammies on. <laughs> Long John's in the summer? Really? I wear these all the time. Hey! Look at, look oh my God. I meant the ladies. <laughs> well, hey, well, hey. I'm the only one here prepared. Put, Did back come back prepared? Put your clothes back, 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 back on. Um, Good. I ain't believing y'all won't let me do this. We come all the way over here to accept the award for all these people. And yeah. I, gotta, I gotta keep my clothes on. Woo. <laughs> That's a little too much for me. Look, yeah, I'm look seeing, at the community. Yeah. But we do appreciate it. I think I think we put our clothes back on and head back. I ain't believe it. I ain't going off of y'all no more. Set no awards. Well, you can just want, stay right here. We'll with come pick you up later. You just have to come by yourself next time. Get you a membership, <laughs> and you can come enjoy it anytime you want. Hey, you don't even need a membership, buddy. You can just go through the front gate and tell them you're here to see Chef Jeff. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you're set up.
was really nice, even if they did prank us. Yeah, they I mean, sure If did. I would have known what we were getting into, I would have been fine. I know. Oh my God, wait, is that Officer Andy? I think my lunch break's <laughs> over. I've had too much water. He's getting his handcuffs out for all the wrong reasons. I think so. Oh my God. What's he here for? <laughs> well, well, you know, you know, <laughs> the scenery. Yeah, obviously. Well. Okay, well let's get, we'll know, we now we know we've got a little place to come. We're gonna bring David and Howard. Yeah. Are you, where are you? We just finished rehearsal. We're on the road to Atlanta. Well, do you, have you seen your dad and uncle? They're in Nashville. No, I, I, I didn't. I didn't know they were here. I thought they were down there. Well, I, they have just really got me this time. They. They called and said, oh, Mel, you are down there with Susan. There's an award being accepted over at this nice resort. They're giving us an award. Please go over there and get it for us. And I said, oh, how nice. So Mel and I dressed up in all of our fine jewelry and our boots and looked real cute. And we got here, and it's a nudist colony. And, you know, I'd have been fine with that if I'd been told because, you know, we could have dressed appropriately. But here I am accepting it, and I look out, and there's it's all full frontal. I mean, yeah, that's so shocking. Overdressed. <laughs> I was overdressed. But H.C., and then I turn around, H.C.'s stripping. He's, he's down to his underwear. Well, they are clothing optional. That's what I hear. I, I know that now. But it's a beautiful place. You're going to have to come see it sometime. It's just around the corner from the ranch. It's super nice people. But I, it was uh, it was an experience. Well, this is the first I've heard of any naked awards. I don't I don't know. We're, <laughs> we're, we're on the way to a gig, I, I, and I haven't seen that or I don't think you've made it until you've got a naked award. So I think your dad and Howard are doing good. This is a good way to start the year. <laughs> All right, well, I love you guys. Well, why don't you do a uh, why don't you do a song while you're here for us? You might, you mind singing? We all pay. Well, we, we put hey, Colonel, Colonel Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Parker said, "Always check that." Well, you're not going to get rich on this show, but <laughs> I'm not going to get rich doing what I do anyway. <laughs> uh, no, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm, since I just stopped by, and y'all aren't going to Tulsa yet. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys know any Randy Raven songs? Sure, we know one. You know one. Oh, well, that's we that's know. probably one. the one I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's try it. Here we go.
love you, that's the way it goes. He's got you and I got Mexico. But I'm eating right and I'm living good. Do you never find you said I would? I lost you a long time ago. He's got you and I got Mexico. appreciate you coming by. Well, yeah, it's great to see you. Well, I'm glad to make thanks for letting me get on the bus, you know. I got on the bus a few times. Yes, you <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great, guys. Good luck. Thank thanks, you. Eddie. So, good to see you. Oh, you're welcome. welcome.